Doc is In is sponsored by Amada Senior Care. Welcome back. Fox 56 News Chief Medical Contributor Dr. Ryan Stanton is with us in studio this morning. This morning he's focusing on the bridge collapse and hopefully easing some people's fears. Exactly. You know, that's a, a tragedy that happened yesterday. Thankfully, didn't lose any more than were lost. Uh, but, you know, there's a lot of fears. A lot of things I've been hearing about over the last 24 hours on things that people need to have ready or to do in their vehicle themselves. So after the incident with the key bridge in Baltimore in which the container ship apparently lost power and hit the supports resulting in the collapse and a significant length of the bridge, I've had several inquiries on escaping submerged vehicles. Keep in mind any type of submerged vehicle is incredibly rare, but about once or twice a year in this area we'll have a vehicle that ends up in a pond, a lake or some other body of water. Often people think they should wait until the car fills with water to try and open the door or break a window once the pressure is equalized. This is not the case. I want you to think of a vehicle in the water as a boat with a really bad leak and remember the word cows. So this is how we're going to get you out of that vehicle. We're going to go cows backwards. First is the S. Take that seat belt off. Second is going to be W. Get those windows open and open as quickly as possible. O is going to be get out quickly. As quickly as you can get out. You may even get out before the windows even get down to the level of the water. And finally, the C for the cows is going to get those children out first because getting them out is much more difficult to get back in the car if you get out. So coming up later in the hour, we're actually going to talk about why the cows are so important when getting out of a submerged vehicle, how you're going to do that and why you're going to do it in that order, and then actually bust a few myths and talk about some other things that may be involved as well. So it really is just about being prepared and most importantly, not panicking, because when we panic, we get that little part of the primitive part of the brain, the brain stem. It doesn't allow us to think, to, to make cognizant and well thought out decisions. So staying calm, you can get out of these situations as much as possible, as long as it's just a vehicle in the water. Deep breaths. That sounds like that's a good strategy mm -hmm. when this, something like this happens. Just calm down as best as possible. Yeah, taking the trauma aspect out of the picture, the vehicles themselves, you do actually have a fair amount of time. And unfortunately, Hollywood in many cases gets it wrong. So we'll, we'll touch on it a little bit more here in about 30 minutes. All right, sounds like a plan. Thank you, Doc. I'll be right back. You're watching Fox 56 News, our home, your news.